Good afternoon. This is Bob with Kaler's Aquatics and just doing my mid-afternoon feeding and going to be doing water changes on old 15, 18 tanks, uh, some filter maintenance, that kind of stuff, and uh, have a couple of new fish I thought I'd show while I did this. Hey, George. Welcome. Hey, Vision. This is a, 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 a bitch session or a, a rant session, kind of. Hey, Daryl. But nothing's wrong with this tank, but uh, just wanted to remind people what Parkinsona, the fellow with the uh, orange uh, fins. Hey, Sandy, welcome. The orange fins there, uh, and that fish is probably eight or nine months old now. Uh, it's beginning to color up nicely. Um, this tank is fine, except for obviously all the algae, uh, and it's on the list for the water change and maintenance today. Hey, Mank. Um, so that's what they look like uh, as they're growing out and like I say I've had this fish for, for months and months uh, it's the only male I think uh, in this group and there are several other kind of rainbows but my point is I wanted to get a look at the size of the rainbow how small it is there's a beta a couple betas there for reference okay and as I said, I'm going around, hang on, going around doing my maintenance and all that and uh, are beginning to do maintenance and got, got to in here and feeding fish, so lids are up. The birds are not real happy because it's uh, stormy out. Uh, something about the weather. Free free pizza in Tennessee. I've got actually that steak I was talking about the last couple of days on live streams in a skillet. Uh, but yeah, uh, dead fish bother you. Dead fish warning. There's uh, another Parkinsona, which is easily two and a half, maybe three times the size of that fish. That one's at least twice the size. And uh, those are my Goldie fish from Gary Lang by way of Lucas. And some of you may have already spotted this. No clue, no ideal, unless it was the males fighting, uh, sparring. But he's not torn up. I haven't touched it yet. Um, I don't have a female with those, but I do have a female that I'm going to move down. I've been thinking about it. I didn't know it was a female. And there's some neon precocks in there. But yeah, there are three kinds of rainbows. But that's what those Parkinsona turn out to be like. And these fish, thanks Ginger, these fish are, that one's at least two years old. And that was the first group I got from Dan's fish. Uh, that was probably six months, maybe a year later there. So you see it takes a long, long time to get them to this and, uh, or to that. So I'm just thoroughly disgusted. But, you know, shit happens. It happens sometimes. So I will move the female down uh, that I do have trying to remember who identified that. All of these tanks look awful and I always say that, but yeah, there's a female right there in the very center of the long white fish. That's a female, I uh, forget who identified that for me, but Wild World TV or Wild Tropical TV or can't remember the name of his channel exactly now, Jason. These guys are growing out nicely. They're all uh, pretty much $3 uh, Australian rainbows, but they do get gorgeous and they're very inexpensive. A lot of people don't give them time to grow out. So, but yeah, I'm gonna be moving that young lady down and I'm gonna make sure they don't run her too much. That's why I haven't put her down. But if I'm having aggression down there, because I don't have a female, look at the birdies. They're pretty birdies. Look at that. They deboned that millet already today. They did. They're good eaters. All right. 
and let's see I did pick up some of the black oh crap the name went right out of my head is it black rubber or black red or whatever uh, tiger barbs I think it's Zen ginger that has some yeah and Gary your plants are coming Monday I am going to be shipping fish, so I'll be in the post office. So your plants are nothing. It's just pulling them out of that tank over there that's so dark because it has so many plants. Most of that floating's going in the tub outside when it's warm enough. So, uh, yep. So I'll let you know. Should be there like Wednesday or Thursday. It's that hygrophila. I want to get rid of some of it. So yeah, those are those black ruber or black whatever. I just looked at the receipt so I would remember that didn't last, did it? So yeah, I'm trying to get some larger barbs started in here so that I can move these barbs to the 180. That was the plan. The one that has the swim bladder is out right now swimming around. It looks awful laying on the ground on the floor. And that's why I keep it in there most of the time. If I keep it in anything bigger, it can't sit up straight, but it does respond. It'll take food right out of a syringe for me. Um, it's a little better. Um, see if I can get it to swim. It's having a little more control if I put some blood worms in there, which are in the microwave. <sighs> so, just wanted to complain a bit. Hey, Alex. I'm hoping these guys grow out nicely. He's gonna order some more of them. Oh, I know you're not. I just like to, I don't get in a rush with shipping and I've got two orders of fish to send out. And Ginger, thanks for letting me know that those rainbows are doing well. I'm not gonna talk about that a lot because knowing you, you'll probably be doing a video. All right, let me get back to it, guys. Thanks for listening to the complaining. I did start to wipe this tank off, uh, and then I thought, that's stupid, because I'm gonna be doing a water change in here, and these people have, have drops or have seen drops on tanks, so <laughs> it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. See some catfishes. There's a bunch of them under there. All right, guys. I'm gonna be posting some, uh, thank you, Platy. Platy Cam TM. Uh, thank you. Hey, young fish. I lost one of my half-grown Parkinsona, uh, and it takes forever to grow those out. I started out showing one that's maybe eight or nine months old and beginning to color up. And I'll go back and show you the dead one if you want to see it, young fish. It's a dead fish, though. <laughs> but I think it was aggression from the other bigger fish. Yep, I know, but I have a female I'm going to put in and see if that helps the situation. There's no reason at all uh, for that to happen. Yeah, I'll show it. I'll show that fish to you. Uh, uh, the fish with the orange, if I can bend down that far, is about five inches long. It's hard to hard to say but maybe five inches yeah five inches the other one there is close to five probably four and a half and you see as they get older and get bigger they're parkinsona rainbow fish they get more orange on them um i have two other kinds of rainbow in there also but there's a male in the middle of that hierarchy and that's what I found when I put lights on and came around. So, no reason at all, no marks, no nothing. You see all these fish are waiting to eat um, and have their water changed. It's low because I can't get the top down tight on this, this tank. Thank you, Daryl. Appreciate it. I need to make a decision where I'm going to donate my uh, Super Chats to. I want to donate them each month. So that's what's going on. Yeah, just a, just a video to rant and bitch a little bit. Sometimes it helps. So 
Yeah, it takes forever to get a fish like that. About two years. <laughs> lots and lots of bloodworm and mice shrimp and spirulina and to get them looking like that. So. All right, guys. Uh, I started to say uh, before Young Fish uh, spoke that I'm going to do some uh, Ocelia, if that's how it's pronounced, videos, some shorts today. Uh, no, not shorts like boxers, Pam, just short videos. Uh, I've got some platies and sword tails, and I've got to make sure what's actually in that Pocelia genus, because uh, not all my bears are. Uh, and I definitely want to get my uh, favorite guppies posted up. So I will be seeing you guys later in videos, maybe. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you.